Right, so today we'll be recovering gold from all this waste acid. It's all the AR from um, previous refines. So we're filtering out all the acid now to get all the gold powder which is sunk to the bottom from any pour offs we've done or any which has dropped out when I've poured the waste acid in. And then we'll also go through the acid, make sure no gold is dissolved in it. And then refine the whole thing and mount the bead at the end and see how much we got. So I'm going to keep scooping this in and pulling it into my uh, funnels and come back when it's done. So I've now got these in buckets, put a copper rod in, wrap around the top and it's just dangling down a little bit. And then at the end maybe I'll leave it a few days and then I'll drag the rod out, move it to the next bucket. There's three here, well there's a fourth one over there. And then I'll show you the beaker now. So here's the beaker, that's just water in there now. I'm just slowly clean it off, it's water of gold. The gold's floating because it's very low quality. You can see at the bottom there's a thick layer of gold, so that's a good sign. So I'll let it fully settle and just keep decanting and cleaning and then put it on a hot plate and dry out the gold powder and then we'll start refining and cleaning it up. So I've now given it a couple of washes of water and removed any um, acid which could have been on there and now I'm just boiling off all the water and then we'll weigh out the powder we got which there is leaves and that mixed in so the weight's not really going to mean a whole lot and then we'll throw in some hydrochloric acid so it's nice and uh, blonde looking. And then we do a refine to remove any rubbish and just to make it just that little tiny bit nicer. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how much gold we can get from the waste. Which, um, my last video where I refined that five point something grams of powder and it come down to 3.6, I've got a feeling the hydrochloric acid might have dissolved a bit because I accidentally put it on too high the heat. So we might find an extra gram in this from that because we lost 1.4 which I can't see being possible. There was a lot of rubbish mixed in with the powder, so it makes sense, but just to be safe, I went for the waste and there does seem to be a lot of stuff, but this could have just been from, just naturally built up from all the different things I've done in the past, because this is from quite a few refines. I'll come back when all the um, water's boiled off anyway. That's all the water boiled off. Remember, this isn't all the gold. There might be gold in the um, solution, which I will also, um, I'll do in a part two. So if that's if there is any, so we'll mount all this up, see how much we got, and then if I find any gold powder in there, we'll also do that. As you can see, there's a lot of leaves and rubbish in there, so that'll build, make up for a bit of the weight. But uh, we'll wait up anyway, just out of interest, to see how much is there and how much we get at the end. So by the looks of it, it probably wasn't even from um, my last video, because my last video had really nice blonde gold, and you'd see that mixed in. Considering this isn't actually removed from the acid, this was just what was at the bottom. But we'll give it a weigh up. As you can see, there's a lot of leaves in there. Some of the bigger pieces are just gold where it dried on, so it's just a big block of gold, gold powder. But there is definitely some leaves and rubbish mixed in. So I'll just pour in the gold now. I'll have to pause the video. Actually, no, I might be able to do it with one hand. As you can see, it's on zero. A little tiny bit in the beaker still, but very little. Probably wouldn't even show up on the scales. So three, just over three grams of powder from just waste. So we'll now boil that in hydrochloric acid. It should go nice and blonde, close to pure. And then we'll give it a refine to remove any rubbish and just make it nice and high quality. Boil this in hydrochloric acid and also add in these filters I used to filter off all the uh, rubbish because that'll also have a lot of the gold which poured off. Those are in. So I now pour in some hydrochloric acid and uh, boil it up. I rephrase that, I heat it up, not boil it up. Don't want to be dissolving it all again by accident. So I'm just pouring in the acid now. So there's our hydrochloric, uh, hydrochloric acid. I now put it on heat and put some on the top so not many fumes escape. So it's been in there for about half hour. I'm now going to filter through as much water as I can and then throw in some hydrochloric acid again and we'll um, add some sodium nitrate and dissolve it so we can get nice pure gold. So all this we pour off will go back into the waste bucket so it'll be our first bit of waste acid. I'll come back when it's all filtered. So I've now added um, some more hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrate. As you can see, most of the gold nearly dissolved, and uh, we'll give it a filter in a minute and pour in the sodium metabisulfite to remove any uh, 
well to remove all the gold out of the acid. Just finishing filtering. I filtered four times to get it as clear as possible. I know it's not very clear, but the reason that is because there's still impurities in the uh, solution. But we're going to drop the gold in it anyway, and then we'll purify it even more afterwards, after it's all dropped. So I'm just going to clean the filter to remove any gold. Once that's all filtered, we'll add in some our sodium metal bisulfite, which is mixed in with that water. We'll pour it into the solution and it should change colour pretty quick and we'll leave it overnight and in the morning uh, decant off the gold, heat it in the hydrochloric acid until it's really nice and blonde and then give it a, uh, a quick mount and see what gold we got. The reason I do like to um, decant off the liquid into a waste bucket even when the waste is taken out of it is because really really fine gold foils still always manage to get through like super fine. I'll show you in the bucket now. So this is the stuff we filtered earlier. Made sure it's filtered multiple times, get all the dust out. And as you can see, a thin layer of gold at the bottom already. <laughs> so it's a good idea to save these buckets and when it's filled up again, we'll do the same again. And we'll just keep repeating over and over. But yeah, I'll come back when it's fully filtered and then we're throwing the metal bisulfite in the other solution. And then part two, I'll go through the waste buckets and with the copper and see what gold comes out of that. So it's now been 24 hours, as you can see the gold settled. We now pour off the solution into my waste bucket and we dry all the powder, weigh it up and then throw it in hydrochloric acid to make it nice and blonde and then give it a mount. And then weigh that up and see how much we lost just from hydrochloric to remove whatever copper's left in there, which would be very little. So I now just decant it now and give it a couple of washes of water so it's nice and clean and there's no um, sodium nitrate or anything left in there. Is, uh, the hydrochloric acid will obviously dissolve that when I uh, purify it further and we don't want that. Now washed it a couple of times with water as you can see it's down there. It's now on the hot plate to dry so all the water now evaporate off and we have dry powder and then I throw in the hydrochloric acid and uh, we we'll leave it for a little bit until it's all a nice blonde colour and then we pour off the acid, wash it again a couple of times and then give it a mount up and see how much we've got. Seeing as I've now got the majority of the water out, I'll pour in hydrochloric acid very slowly because I don't want to break the beaker. We'll now leave that for well, until it's all a nice colour and I come back when it's all done. It's now been half an hour to 45 minutes, as you can see. Nice quality. I now decant off all the acid into our waste bucket and mount up the gold. So I've now decanted it off and put water in four or five times, sawed out and poured that out as well so it's nice and clean. It's all been in my waste bucket so we'll do that again in future. So there's the gold. Just, we've just water in it. It's now on the hot plate to dry and then we're scoop out and give it a mount. So it's starting to rain which is a bit annoying but it's almost dry and I've got everything set up so I'll just pour it straight in and we can mount it straight away.
it all ready in the crucible, ready to mount and uh, add it all now and we'll see what we get at the end.
still a small amount of gold in the crucible. You see a little um, pebble of water there floating about. <laughs> Here's our little bead of gold. Maybe this all a lot of it than I thought it'd be. Put our weight up now and see how much is there. Here's our scales. See how 1.26 grams of gold. Pretty much pure gold from our waste, so that's alright. That extra bonus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on any video ideas you have. Bye bye.